All right, so I'm going to talk about this $100 camo in Modern Warfare Deuce and Half in Warzone for a second. I got a couple of people asking me if I'm going to make a video on this. And look, man, I'm, I'm not going to get into a whole rant about this. If you guys want to hear my thoughts about stuff like this, you can go back and watch my $80 glove video, the Beast Glove. I pretty much feel identical to this situation as I did in that video. Just go watch that and just apply it here. It's pretty much the same thing, possibly even a little bit worse. I'm not going to put a picture of the camo on the screen for you guys. I don't care what the camo looks like, man. You shouldn't care what the camo looks like. I wipe my ass with what the camo looks like, a $100 camo. But I'm seeing a lot of weak, soft degenerates out here coming up with excuses for this nonsense. Trying to come up with different defenses. And one of the main ones that I'm seeing the most is like, this was actually said to me. Actually, I think it, I think the comment is still there on my $80 glove video, the Beast Glove video. And he goes on to say, well, Mr. Gilmore, calling it an $80 melee weapon is actually incorrect because you're buying four bundles to get this melee weapon and you get loads of content with those four bundles. So calling it an $80 melee weapon, you're being disingenuous and you're lying to your fan base. They're trying to make Activision look a little less scummy because you're getting all this other shit. You're getting some t-shirts or whatever you're buying in order to get the camo. You're getting some digital items to go with your melee weapon. So it's not, it's Activision not really being scummy, right? It's more of a reward, <laughs> like lo loads of content. You listen to these nerds, loads of content. Yeah, operator skins in a first person shooter and a camo for your gun, but if you change the attachments around on your gun to what works better for you, the gun now looks like shit. Loads of content. These nerds, like, they're they're doing exactly what Activision wants, man. They're, they're like a puppet on strings. They pay Activision, and they run out here online defending them. They pay Activision to defend their terrible, god-awful, dog shit business practices. Listen, you nerds. You degenerate beta male little weirdos. I'm going to make it real easy on you. In order to acquire that melee weapon, the beast glove, how much money do you have to spend? Do you have to spend 80 plus dollars in order to acquire this item? So it's an $80 melee weapon. In order to acquire this camo, do you not have to run it over to the merch shop spending $100 or more on t-shirts and shit? T-shirts that announce to the world I'm a fucking virgin. Do you not have to spend $100 or more on the merch shop to acquire this camo? So it's a $100 camo. Let us not forget we're also talking about a full price game. C can we just can we just let that sink in for a second? We're talking about a full price game with a $100 camo in it. We're talking about a full price first person shooter with an $80 melee weapon in there. See, I'm still getting comments here and there. I'll get emails sometimes. I'll get DMs on Twitter, whatever. People reaching out, asking me if I have any tips, if I, if I can give them any advice. They'll be like, hey, Gilly, I like your videos, man. I'm trying to get into Call of Duty commentaries. You know, do you have any advice you could give me? Look, dude, this is the worst. We are in the worst era for Call of Duty, period, Just if you're just a gamer. This is the worst time to ever get into content creation with Call of Duty, in my opinion. Skill-based matchmaking and EO matchmaking is as AIDS as it's ever been, and it doesn't look like it's getting any better. I mean, we haven't seen much from Microsoft at this point. All we've seen, we don't know if they've actually stepped in just yet. We don't know. But all we've seen under Microsoft so far is shit is getting worse for the store, though. We're, we're seeing our first 3,000 cop point bundles. We're seeing $80 melee weapons, $100 camos. Shit seems to be getting worse under Microsoft. Now, is that going to change for the better? Who knows, man? Only time will tell. So if you're trying to be a gameplay channel, it's not going to work because if you upload a gameplay of you pub stop and everybody's just going to call that a bot lobby and they're going to hate on you for that, call you a reverse booster or whatever it is. But if you upload gameplay of you struggling because you're in a true skill-based matchmaking lobby where everybody is a clone of you, you got six enemies or more that is a clone of you, it is damn near impossible. Unless you get real lucky and all the stars align, you, you know, you'll have a game like that here or there, but they're very rare, man. 
So you're going to upload gameplays of true skill-based matchmaking lobbies, and you're going to be struggling. Everybody's just going to hate on you and call you trash for it. So it's not going to work out being a gameplay channel. Being a news channel is not going to work because most of the news we have around Call of Duty is toxic as fuck. So you're going to be labeled as a Call of Duty hate channel. All the knob gobblers are going to hate on you, report your channel, dislike, bomb all your videos, just all that corny shit that they do because they're upset you said mean words about their favorite little video game. So you could try just being super positive and never reporting on the toxic shit, never calling out the bullshit with Call of Duty, but then all the real ones are gonna hate you, like myself. We ain't gonna respect you because you're a fake. You're a phony, we want nothing to do with you. And if you do what I try to do and just call it straight up, down the middle, you don't really pick a side, even though I completely hate Activision, you guys know this, the decisions that they make, the things that they do, the greasy shit that they do, you still try to call it down the middle. Well, that's not sexy. That's not going to get you views out here. You ain't going to blow up making videos like that. People like the clickbait shit, man. That, that's what's going to get you views. If you only care about your bank account, my best advice is just pick a side and then run with it. But you're taking the chance. There's going to be a people out here like me that are not going to respect you if you do that. But just pick your side, right? Super positive. You never say anything negative about Call of Duty. Get the clickbaity thumbnail in there, making it look like you're giving a blowjob. Or just be super negative. Even if there is a positive in there, find ways to spin it into a negative. Get yourself your clickbaity thumbnail. Make sure you put like scam and all big letters in the middle of the thumbnail and you just title your video, Modern Warfare 3 is a scam. Activision is scamming you. Black Ops Gulf War is a scam. And you'll be all set, man. You just, if you only care about your bank account, you'll be all set if you follow that strat. But like I said, my brutally honest advice I could give is this is the worst time to get into any type of content creation with Call of Duty. If I were you, I would find another game, something else that you really enjoy playing and just try to make something on that. What it, like, it's hard to come up with ideas for videos sometimes and shit. I get all that. It's really tough. But just, just try to watch other videos for inspiration. Like, even if you can get an idea from someone else's video and then just make it your own. Try to spread it out because you don't want to get stuck in the algorithm, dude. Once YouTube knows your channel for a specific game, you try to upload something else and you just get buried in that algorithm. Just try to cover different games, things that you're enjoying. I mean, the Fallout show just came out. Make some videos on that. They got a next-gen update coming for Fallout 4. I'm going to definitely be jumping on that when we get that update. 60 frames, increased resolution. We get a new quest and shit over there on new gen. I might even stream it on my second channel, man. I don't know. I, I watched the first two. Like, I went into the Fallout show expecting that show to be complete ass. I thought it was going to be all kinds of booty juice. I Like, I was good. There was no way I wasn't going to watch it. But I fully expected the show to suck. And I watched the first two episodes so far. And honestly, man, it's, it's pretty fucking good, dude. It's like, I can't. Me, me and the wife, we're going to sit down. We're going to watch the rest of it. I, Dude, I was enjoying it. I thought it was great. Like, it could still turn out to be ass. But the, the first two episodes, man, I was, I was feeling it. I was liking what they were doing with that show. So talk some Fallout, man. Fallout is hype right now. There's tons of people making videos about Fallout because of the show and the next-gen update coming the two episodes in the new Fallout show were so good that I'm actually tempted to try Fallout 76 again. I, I don't know. I think my character is like rank 8 or something. And then that's when I gave up on the game. I just, I had nothing left for that game. I might go back and try that game. That, that's how good the, the Fallout show is for me with the first couple of episodes. Make some videos on that. Make some Fallout videos and then switch it over. I don't know, cover some Destiny or something. Like the final shape will be coming out in the summer. Do something with Destiny if you play Destiny. Try some Borderlands, man. Borderlands 4 is probably right around the corner, man. We're looking at maybe a year or two tops before we see some Borderlands 4. Cover some Borderlands. You know, the Borderlands movie will be coming out. That movie looks like shit too, man. I hope it's good. But I watched the trailer and... Uh, Oh my goodness, I, I I wasn't really feeling the trailer, man. But I love me some fucking Borderlands, dude. You know, just grab a whole bunch of games that you like and just try to spread it out, man. Try to cover everything. Don't tie yourself down to one game. Because like I said, dude, once YouTube recognizes you for a specific game, that's it. You try to upload something different, you just get buried in the fucking algorithm. That's why I feel for a lot of these channels out here. The homies, I see them all the time. They get a lot of hate. Oh, complains about the game, but still plays it. There's a lot of people that drop salty little comments like that. Complains about the game and still plays it. 
You know, they're a lot like me. They hate the direction Call of Duty is going in. They still love the foundation of Call of Duty, though. It has all the potential in the world, but it's getting fucked over by greed and smothered by bullshit. And they've tried to pivot in the past to other games before, but it didn't work out. And they're just, they're kind of stuck. You don't want to do that to yourself, man. Spread it out. Keep your options open and just play a whole bunch of shit that you enjoy. That's all I got for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you on the next one.